One of the biggest political stories heading into the local 2024 elections is the future of Measure C. That's the sales tax funding for street repairs and freeway expansion, as well as bike trails, school bus replacements, and many other programs. Assembly member Joaquin Arambula introduced legislation to add four public members to the nine member board that manages the spending for Measure C projects. On this Wired Wednesday, we're checking in with GV Wires News Director Bill McEwen for more on this story. Bill, good morning. What's the backstory here? So, uh, good morning. I think uh, one backstory is that uh, Assembly Member uh, Joaquin Arambula has taken a very activist role for his district. And as you know, it includes many uh, minority people. Uh, many people that uh, are below the poverty line. And so he's trying to expand their role in government. And uh, the big thing here is that uh, this measure raises billions of dollars um, and, tax and the voters rejected it in just the last election. 58% approved, but it needed two thirds majority to pass. And it was a very hot local political issue. You had uh, social uh, warrior groups team with some very conservative groups to uh, make sure that it didn't reach the two thirds passage. It is often in underserved communities where the roads are in uh, extreme disrepair and he wants people who are living through that to be part of this uh, uh, decision making process. When does Measure C expire? So it will expire in 2027. They were trying to get an extension early. And so 2024 represents another opportunity to ensure that it continues. Uh, we should note that about half the counties in California tax themselves to improve their own local roads, to uh, subsidize bus fares for bike trails and the like. And uh, Fresno County was out front in adopting this uh, tax many, many decades ago. And uh, it's very important to uh, Fresno's transportation future because Fresno often gets overlooked by uh, state government and federal government. And just so our viewers understand, our local roads, our highways are funded by federal dollars, state dollars, and in the case of Fresno County, by our local dollars as well. Good point. Uh, thank you for bringing that up. You know, you also wrote in the article that uh, in the Sacramento County, Contra Costa County, Madera and Tulare counties, they don't have members on their deciding committees as Assembly Member Arambula is uh, trying to uh, make successful. Do you think that he will get what he wants? So, I mean, uh, the Democrats dominate uh, Sacramento. Uh, the governor previously uh, signed a bill that expanded the San Joaquin River Con Conservancy Board and also created an independent redistricting commission for Fresno County. So those two bills also by Arambula became law. Mm -hmm. I think uh, this is a little less clear. We'll see what develops with it. Okay. And when do we have a final decision that we'll know about? So, uh, you know how the legislature works, stay <laughs> tuned and, uh, you know, towards the end of the year, not only do you have uh, whether or not the legislature will adopt this, but you have the question of the governor signing it yeah. and uh, we'll see what develops and we're going to watch it closely at GVWire.com. All right. Well, we appreciate our partnership uh, with you to stay up to date with this. Bill McEwen with GVWire, thanks so much for joining us on this Wired Wednesday morning. It thanks. is.